Okay, students, welcome back to the next video, the second video that we have. Okay, now we are looking back at example 6. Okay, I hope you have tried it so far. Okay, so when you look at this question, sometimes it's a bit difficult to figure out what is happening. Don't be discouraged. Just try your best. I also took a while to answer the question. Okay, so this is my solution. You notice that some of the things is actually irrelevant. Okay, so let me point out to you what are the relevant parts. Okay. Uh, we have figured out in the previous video that A, Q, B is 90 degrees because it's angle in semicircle. So this is the important part that you need later. Okay, but in the process, I also went to find what is A, B, Q, A, B, P and so and so forth. But what is the next important part that we are looking at? Okay, let's look at this one part. Okay, and I would like to you to draw your attention to over here. A, B, P. Okay, in this question, we find that A, B, P, the triangle, okay, this big triangle here, A, B, P, okay, we know already know two of the sides, uh, two of the angles, 24 degrees and 25 degrees here. Which should mean that if I can figure out what is A, B, P, it might be useful for me. Okay, so I went to figure out and I realized that it's 121 degrees. Why is this so important for me? Because in this scenario, I notice that XBP is also a straight line. Why is the angle on the straight line? Yes, it's actually 180. So that means I'm able to find out what is this blue angle over here, which is ABX. Okay, so for angle ABX is 180 degrees minus 121 degrees, which I get 59 degrees. Why is this angle so important? Look at this very carefully. A, B, X, and X, Q, A. I repeat again. A, B, X, and A, Q, X. Notice these two angles are actually angles in the same segment. Since I know it's an angle in the same segment, I would know that angle A, Q, X is 59 degrees. And that will also mean that I also, uh, since I know AQB is 90 degrees, I would know straight away that XQB is just 90 degrees minus 59 degrees, which should give me 31 degrees. So this is my answer. Yeah, so do not panic. Okay, just continue to try your best. If you cannot do, then so be it. Go and try other question and come back again. Okay, now we move on to the next property, property number four. Angles in opposite segments are supplementary. Okay, what do we mean by that? Okay, look at this shape. Okay, this is a quadrilateral and all the corners of the quadrilateral actually touch the circumference of a circle. Okay, if that is true, then D plus B is equals to 180 degrees. A very special relationship. A and C are opposite angles in, sec in the different segments. Okay, so A and C, when you add them together, is 180 degrees. I repeat again, this angle here, the two red angles, when you add them up, it's going to be 180 degrees. When you add the blue angles together, Okay, B and D, when you add them up together, it's going to be 180 degrees. Okay, sometimes we call, it, call this a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, so let's look at how we are going to apply. Okay, and anyway, the abbreviation is called angles in opposite segments for this one. Okay, so let's identify first. Huh? In example 7, in the diagram, A, B equals to B, C. A, B is equals to B, C. A, looks like I saw this triangle. C, D is equals to D, A. C, D equals to D, A. Okay. Angle B, A, C. B, A, C is 54 degrees. Find the value of angle A, C, D. A, C, D. Oh, they want this particular angle. Okay. Now, you cannot throw away whatever they have learned in the previous few parts. Okay. But there are things that you might be able to use. Okay, so what are the things that you might be able to lose? Look at this, A, B, C. 
What type of triangle is this? Well done, you know it. It's an isosceles triangle. Since it's an isosceles triangle, what is so special about angle B, C, A? Very good. It's 54 degrees because they are actually base angle of isosceles triangle. Okay, look at this. Okay, this and this are base angle of an isosceles triangle ABC. Okay, next up. Can you find angle ABC? Well done! Angle ABC is just 180 degrees minus 54 degrees times 2. Okay, which should give me 180 minus 108 degrees. Okay, which should give me... Okay, pardon me here because I do not have my calculator with me. But if I've done it correctly, I should get 62 degrees. Okay, let me do a very quick check over here. 54 times 2, 108, 180 minus 108, 27. Oh, sorry, it's 72 degrees. Okay, since I know this is 72 degrees, let's use our property 4 here. Okay. What is so special about this angle okay, and this angle? Okay, How do I check whether they are angles in opposite segment? The quadrilateral that they form, the kite or the special rectangle or the four-sided figure that they form, the corners must all touch the circumference of the circle. Once I do that, I know that this angle plus this angle is 180 degrees so angle A, D, C is 180 degrees minus 72 degrees why? because it's angle in opposite segment okay so you get 108 degrees can you find angle ACD now? Well done! Angle ACD is actually 180 degrees minus 108 degrees divided by 2. Okay? Hey, sorry. Oh yes, correct. So, we work out. Okay? 36 degrees okay what's the rationale this is called base angle in iso triangle okay so sometimes it takes a little bit more effort but do not give up okay let's look at the next example okay then you have to try the rest on your own okay so in the diagram o is the center of the circle Angle RPS is 40 degrees. RPS, you see? RPS 40 degrees here. Calculate angle PQR. PQR. Oh oh. Look carefully. This is not what you would expect, okay? Angle PQR is an angle at circumference, but this is a very weird shape, okay? What can we infer from all this information? Look at what is this? This is the center of the circle. So OP is the radius. OR is also the radius. And OS is also a radius. So why can you tell me about triangle POR? What can you tell me about triangle ROS? Well done. P-O-R is a, is a isosceles triangle. 
ROS is also an isosceles triangle. So based on all this information, we can tell that this is very good. It's 40 degrees. Okay. Next, look at this shape. P-O-S. Is it a straight line? Yes. And on top of that, it passes through the center of circle. So this is also our diameter. If this is the diameter of circle, what is so special about PRS? Well done, okay? PRS is actually 90 degrees. So if I know PRS is 90 degrees, what can you tell me about ORS? Very good. Okay, ORS is actually just 90 minus 40 degrees, which is 50 degrees. Okay, so you got quite a number of information even before you do anything. Okay, but let's check what do we need again. Okay, sometimes you might need to start from the back. Sometimes, eh, hey, wait, before you move on, look at this. You want angle ORS? Have I found angle ORS? Of course. Okay, so now don't just leave everything here. You need to present your working. Okay, don't be lazy, huh, everyone. Okay, so let's present everything down as what we have uh, done our top process just now. Okay, angle ORP is equals to 40 degrees. What's the rationale? Because they are all base angle of isosceles triangle. Okay, so now that I know this, okay, I can actually move on. Okay, on top of that, I also know that for, sorry, angle PRS is 90 degrees. So this is angles in semi-circle. So angle ORS is 90 degrees minus 40 degrees which should give us 50 degrees and well done we got part of the information already okay what are we still missing the question is still looking for PQR so how do we find PQR okay look at PQR again huh? PQR is in this weird corner but if you look at the big shape here, okay, I'm going to use the yellow highlighter to highlight the line. Look at this big shape. Okay, and look at this angle. I'm going to use blue pen. This angle here and this angle here. What can you tell me about these two angles? Yes, okay, most of you will be able to identify it's actually this property that we're going to use. A and C are going to add up to become 180 degrees. So, what do you need to do? You just need to write down the steps. Okay, so angle PQR plus angle PSR is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because they are angles in opposite segment. Okay, since I know they are angles in opposite segment, I just need to fill out the rest of the information. Okay, PSR. Do you think you know what's the information there? Yes, ORS is 50 degrees. What about OSR? If OSR is also 50 degrees, can what can you tell me about PSR? See, it's not that difficult. Have some confidence in yourself. So now let's solve it. Angle PQR is equals to 180 degrees minus 50 degrees. Okay, which will give me 130 degrees. There. We got it. Okay, it's not difficult. Just try. 
Okay, can I get you to try example 9, example 10? I'll review the answer in the uh, next video or in terms of pictures. Okay, so see you in the next video.